Hello, hello, hello. Shalom, everybody. Shalom, everybody. Hallelujah. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Let me see who is online. Let me see who is online. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am so excited tonight. <laughs> I am so excited tonight. Can you see that? Bless you. I see you online. Yes, come on in. I'm just going to wait for you to come on in. Hallelujah. This is the day that the Lord God has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. Uh, let me know where you're watching from. We have a special guest tonight. I say come on in quickly because we have, I'm telling you, the Lord is going to do a quick work tonight in Jesus' name. So come on in, invite somebody where you're coming in. <laughs> let us invite somebody. Let us just, let me see, let me know you are watching. Let me know you are watching tonight. Hallelujah. We have a special guest tonight. <laughs> we have a special guest tonight. Come quickly. Hallelujah. So come on in, tag somebody. That bless you, precious one. <laughs> I see our prophetic nations are up. Bless you, Rochella. Bless you. We have a special guest tonight. Hallelujah, Minister Rochella. Nice to see you. Good morning to you too. Our prophetic intercessors, I see you guys are online. I am not alone tonight. Hallelujah. I'm excited. Apostle Claire is with me. <laughs> I'm telling you. <clears throat> So we, I'm telling you, because of time, we want you to quickly, quickly invite somebody, tag somebody. I'm telling you, there is a word, word of the Lord for you tonight. Your life can never be the same. Hallelujah. Your life can never be the same. The Lord have a word for us tonight. Have a word for the nations tonight. I'm telling you, God, the Lord is giving us divine access tonight. Hallelujah. We have an amazing special addiction today for just for you. So come on right in. I'm just going to invite right now our guest because she's ready. I'm telling you, this is the prophetic hour. Bless you, precious one. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Come on in. Hallelujah, my pre <laughs> precious daughter. You are all God bless you, my precious one. Nice to see you. Hallelujah. Bless you, precious one. Hallelujah. Pauline, you are all. <clears throat> I've been praying for you. I will continue to pray for you. Don't be distracted tonight. You start, you just, you don't be distracted tonight. You, you hang in here tonight. I'm telling you, the father has released this amazing vessel to come tonight and to come and strengthen the body of Christ tonight. So Pauline, do, don't even be distracted tonight. You hang in there. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, all our intercessors are up tonight. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Invite somebody. I'm telling you, invite somebody, call somebody, tag somebody. Say the prophetic intercessors are online. Say Apostle Claire Reveal is online. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we we are, I'm just gonna invite that our this woman of God. I'm telling you, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm the precious daughter Rebecca. Much love, precious one. Hallelujah. So nice to see you. You guys are up early. Hallelujah. <laughs> you guys are up early. Can you see that? Amen. So I'm just going to invite my special guest right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Welcome, Apostle. You are, I'm telling you. Welcome, 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 Apostle. And I'm, I'm so excited. I'm telling you, I'm excited. I am so excited tonight. The people of God are online. Amen. And welcome. This, this, you know, welcome to yes. our prophetic mission. I see you, Rochella. It is 8 p.m. over there. Bless you, bless you. Uh Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I see uh, Ashana, you are all God bless you. Good night over there. Good morning. I see you. I'm telling you, uh, th th this woman of God that is with us today, she's a woman of prayer. She's a woman of integrity. She's a woman that is after God's own heart. Hallelujah. Open your heart tonight. I'm telling you, open your heart and just receive. Praise the Lord. Be open your heart and receive. You know what we do? Hallelujah. While we are sharing, we just pray in the Holy Ghost. Woman of God, I'm so excited tonight. 
Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is what we do. We just, you know, encourage the people of God to, to, to stir up their spirit and, and pray. Hallelujah. And just pray, it, it, it release their heavenly language. Mm. Hallelujah. Kala broso kolo brakasata. Banze kolo broko shi kele brana noste. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We bless you. We thank you tonight. Rava Sokolo Bronze, 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 Ke La Brasote. Holy Bate, Kele Bracason, Telebrace, Kete Father, we give you praise tonight. Hallelujah. We thank you. We thank you. Rava Soto, Libra da Boste, Libra Gason, Telebrocose. Thank you, Father, my God, because you are meeting us at the point of our need tonight. Thank you for the nations tonight. Oh, thank you for the entrance of your word tonight that give it light. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. I I just, because of time, I'm just going to really uh, uh, get out of the way. Praise the Lord. <laughs> it's to good morning from Cape Town. Hallelujah. Bless you, bless you, bless you. 3 a.m. in Cape Town. I'm telling you, some of our wonderful, precious ones are there. Always logging in, being, or being faithful. Thank you, precious one, Rebecca. Bless you. We'll talk to you definitely later. Don't be distracted tonight. The fact that you're online tonight, you are not here by accident. You are here by divine appointment in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Woman of God, I, I want you to take to, to take this moment. You just lead us as the Lord, uh, as the Lord has, uh, you know, whatever the Lord is have placed in your heart tonight, you just lead the people of God. You just bless the people of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woman of God, before you go any further, I want to thank you for this opportunity. Just know that I honor you. I appreciate you. I don't take this opportunity lightly. I just thank God for the grace and the oil upon your head. So we just want to bless our Father. I want everybody online, as you join us, just begin to speak in tongues. Let's take at least two minutes to begin to speak in tongues. Here, <laughs> But that we, but that we welcome, but that we appreciate, but that we thank you for the Lord Jesus Christ, our, our Savior. We magnify you, Father. It is not like you, Father. We thank precious Holy Spirit. We welcome you in this place. We say, have your way. Cleanse us right now with the blood of Jesus. Father, we confess our sins, every iniquity. Anything that is not um, be, um, is not pleasing unto you, God. We bring it to the bottom and we say, He was asked, yes, Lord. yes, Lord, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. We thank God, you are doing good things, you are yes, doing things, you are doing glorious things, miraculous things, ancient. Yes, um, yes. Oh, how great art thou, um, how mm. great you are, how wonderful you are, how glorious yes. you are, how yes. much yes. are your ways. Um, we yes. worship, um, um, we thank you, um, we just call upon this altar, um, the God of glory, the God of healing, the God of all powers, the God of miracles, the God of, of provision, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shammah, 
the God who is always with us. We welcome you in this place. We want to lift up the name of our Lord Jesus. The name above all names. The Bible says at the mention of your name, every knee will bow of things in the heaven, of things on the earth, of things underneath the earth, and every tongue we confess. Jesus is Lord the glory of God the Father. Therefore, we lift up that name above every name, above my name, above other names. We thank you, God. And your word says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run to it and they are saved. So we come to that name. We come to Mount Zion, where God is, where the sprinkle of blood is, where the mediator is, where our Lord is. We come to Jehovah. We come to the God of Israel. We bow down to you. We cast down our crowns in front of your throne. We hold your feet and we worship you. We glorify you. We say thank you, Adonai. We say thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, Prince of Peace. We shout hallelujah unto your name. There is no one like you. I want everybody online. If you know the God of Israel has been good to you, I just want you to have a flashback right now. Begin to bless his name. Begin to glorify him. Give him the fruit of your lips. We thank him this day. I feel like there is a calabash. It's going to break open. Something is going to break open. When I say a calabash, don't see a physical calabash, but there is a well, there is a place where God has installed his glory. There is a fountain of water, of living water. As we begin to exalt him, as we begin to praise him, as we begin to give him glory, as we begin to adore him, something's about to break loose, something's about to open. I just hear in my spirit, there's going to be keys, and those keys are going to be given access to open doors, open gates, open doors into your promotions, open doors out of depression, open doors out of any bondage. God is going to meet us today in the place of our need. So let's just take another 60 seconds and tell him thank you. God has been good to us. If he had not been God, who has been on our side. Um, the enemy would have swallowed us. Um, but I come to lift him up. Um, we come to celebrate him. Um, we come to say, Oshé Baba. We come to say, thank you, Father. Um, we come to say, bless you, Adonai. We come to say glory to your name. Um, we come to say you are worthy. We come to say you are oh, you are awesome, God. Um, we thank you, God, um, that even in the time of plague, um, you have sheltered us. Um, you have protected us. Um, your blood, oh God, um, caused a Passover that death did not find us. Um, sickness did not find us. Um, the disease did not find us. Um, therefore, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father. Are there any grateful people online today? Because I really feel that this place is going to be an arena of miracles, signs and wonders. Whatever you came here in today, believe in God. I want you to open your heart. I want you to open your mind. This is not the usual meeting we have. This is an unusual meeting. And I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus that by the power of the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, there is going to be divine recreation, even of body parts. There's going to be exchange. You are going to exchange your old garment for a glorious garment. The garment of heaviness is going to lift somebody and you are going to receive um, the garment of joy. Somebody is receiving the oil of gladness. God is doing a new thing. The Bible says the mercies of God, they are new each morning. So this morning time, I want you to position yourself because God is about to do something miraculous. God is about to bring a shift. God is about to bring a change. God is about to give revelation. God is about to give insight. Somebody's eyes are being opened. 
You are going to begin to see the things of God like never before. You are going to begin to know the things of God like never before. You are going to begin to understand the things of God like never before because the Bible says the entering of thy word brings life. And the same Bible says where the word of the king is, there is power. Therefore, I want to proclaim, I want to decree by the word of God that right now we receive light. Right now we receive power. Something is about to change in your life. I sense in the spirit, some of you have been in a down place because the devil is lying to you, telling you that God is not going to come true, telling you that God is not going to do it. But I come to bust that devil's lie because God is an always true God. He is not a man to lie, not a son of man to repent. You should not give your ears to the devil, but yet the word of the Lord, God is still working on your case and just at the right time he will come true for you for it is written the vision, the promise is for an appointed time and it shall surely come forth. It will not delay it will come forth. I want everybody online to write down, it shall come forth. It will come forth. I don't know what it is in your life, but hear the word of the Lord, it will come forth. Before we go any further, let me give us the word of the Lord. The word of the Lord for us today, number one. I want to start to give you understanding because I understand the time that we are in right now. We are in a time where we find ourselves in a time of plague. People passing, people afraid, people scared. But I want to tell you the sense of God. Fear not. You say, but Apostle Claire, why are you saying fear not? You have to remember, the Bible says in Romans 8, 28, all things... Somebody needs to write it down. I'm not going to do this alone. We are going to preach together. I want somebody to write it down. All things. Write down all things. All things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. I want to let somebody know all things are about to work for your good. All things are working for our good. All things are working for the body of Christ. All things are working for the saints. Do not be afraid. Hear the word of the Lord. The good, the bad, and the ugly, it is working for our good. You will say, Apostle, why are you saying that? No, I'm going to begin to unpack this. But I want to give this as the word for the foundation of where we are going to be speaking today, proclaiming, and we are going to be praying. Remember, all things are working for our good. The only thing that we need to do in this situation where we find ourselves or any other situation is follow the word of God that says in 2 Chronicles seven fourteen. it says, if my people, which are called by my name, we humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, I will forgive their sins, and I will heal their land. If you are a sensible person, if you are a wise person, one of the things you must do in this season is honestly come to God and begin to repent. Turn away from your wicked ways because God is looking for the righteous. You want to have a right standing with God. You don't want anything to be in your spirit, in your mind, or in your conscience that will hinder all things to work for you. Now listen, the Bible says all things work for them that love the Lord and, co and call according to his purpose. And Jesus gave us a very important key. He said, if you love me, you will do my commands. If you love me, you will do my will. So the will of God is for us to first of us find a place of right standing with him is to confess. We confess not because of condemnation, but because we love him. We want to be well with him. We want to be connected with him. 
We want to be pleasing to him. So out of love that we have for God, we must set our heart and say, no, nothing else is worth my life. Nothing else is worth my time. Nothing else is worth my emotion. Nobody is worth me going to hell. I'm going to spend eternity with my God. So in this time, no matter what is coming, no matter what is going, my first place is to humble myself I'm going to seek his face. I'm going to pray. I'm going to repent, which means I'm going to let go. Everybody talking about me, I let them go. Everybody ever hurt me, I let them go. Anybody ever accused me, I let them go. Anybody ever used me, I let them go. Because when I let them go, I let Jesus in. Come on, somebody. Somebody need to write it down. Letting Jesus in is what we need in this season. Being cool with Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, is the most important thing we need to seek first. Is the time when we must run back to the cross. We must hold on to the blood. We must call that name Jesus. There is power in that name Jesus. See, must tremble when we call the name Jesus. We must be cool again with Jesus. Jesus must be the center of everything we do. Jesus must be the center of my life. Everything must be about Jesus. So let us make up our mind. There are some of you online. You need to return to the place of worship. And I'm not talking about the four corner walls of the church. I'm talking about that place of intimacy. You are God, my God. Have you forgotten the days that it used to be? Only you and God, you and him, nobody else. You used to say, God, take my life. Use me to whatever you want to do in my life. You used to wake up early and pray. You used to wake up early and worship. You used to be the first one to praise God. You used to be the first one to give offerings. You used to be the last one to come out of the church. But the enemy came in gave you a job, gave you a family, gave you business, and you forgot the person who gave you all those things. But now, Jesus, now God is putting us in a place to remember who is the cornerstone of our life, who is the foundational stone. The Bible says he is a trusted, and tested foundational stone that can be trusted. We can lean on him. And God is calling you. Come back, my daughter. Come back, my son. It is in the place of intimacy where we begin to see ourselves, where we behold his face, we behold his glory as we worship him, as we pray to him, as we search his word. We begin to see through his light through his glory, we begin to see the things in us that needs to be fixed. Some of us need to be fixed. I want everybody online to write down, oh Lord, fix me. Oh God, fix me. We need to be fixed. In this season, I've come to a place where I say, God, it's no longer about my neighbor. I pray for my neighbor. I bless my neighbor. But God fix me, Claire revealed. I need some fixing because I allow some things to be in my heart, in my spirit, and it's not supposed to be there. Father, take it away. I don't want it no more. Take away the shame. Take away the pain. Take away the disappointment. Take away the arguments. Take away everything that has been holding me back. Father, I want you to fix me because the Bible says those that have pure hearts, they will see God. How many of you want to see God? I want to see God. I want to know God. I want to be locked down, married to God, like the bride of Christ. So you have to remember this lockdown, this time of quarantine, is the most beautiful time. Oh, oh, did she just say that? Yes, I am saying it with all sensitivity to our people who have lost their loved ones. I know that, and we mourn for that. But that we that are living, 
We need to have the perspective from God himself and say, God, why did you spare me? Why did you leave me alive? And now we need to begin to see things from the eyes of God. Don't be a mourner in, in, in the sense that you sit in a corner and allow the enemy to just give you negative news, negativity, all bad things, and you are, you, are, you are sitting like everything is doomed. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Look around. Open your eyes. That's why the, um, the prophet asked God to open the eyes of his servant to see what is around us. If there is anything you need to pray and ask God in this season, you need to say, oh God, Open my eyes to see, enlighten the heart of my, the eyes of my understanding. We need revelation to begin to see the things that are in front of us. We need revelation to begin to understand the things that are happening, the things that are going on. We need revelation. Is somebody with me? So do not miss it in this season. This is not the time to miss it. This is the time to be focused on God. This is the time. Hallelujah. This is the time to be focused on God. This is the time that we begin to say, Oh God, I want you to fix me. Oh God, I want you to change me. Oh God, I want you to transform me. Oh God, I want you to do some new things in my life. In the name of Jesus, is somebody with me today? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Adonai. We bless your name, oh God. We worship you, oh God. We give you praise, oh God. We give you thanksgiving. So now that we understand that we need to make Jesus our number one, and then we have to remember, remember this, all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So now that you know that things are working for our good and you are asking God to open your eyes, to begin to see truth so that you don't allow the enemy to begin to lie to you. The second thing that I want you to know that you are a person who love God. So all things are working for you. Amen. So that is in Romans 8, 28. Just hang with me because we are going to pray. The word needs to come first and the spirit begins to move. And then we go into heavy intercession because something is going to break open today. Something is going to go loose today. Somebody is going to be delivered today. Somebody is going to be set free today. Do you believe it? Do you believe it? If you believe it, write it down. I believe it. Hallelujah. Then let's, let me go to the second point. The second point that we need to understand, that will help us to just relax and be cool and don't bother about the enemy or the things that he is doing. Because remember, I've already told you, Number one promise is that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So that should already keep you calm because you know this is working for me. Are you with me? This is working for me. And that's number two point that will keep you calm in this time. Go with me to Jeremiah Chapter 17, verse eight, 7 and 8. If somebody can write down the scriptures for us, go with me to the second promise. Jeremiah 17, verse 7 to 8. It says, But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have met the Lord their hope and confidence. They are like trees planted along river bank with roots that reach deep in the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. So now 
Number one, you know you love the Lord. Because you know you love the Lord, you understand that all things are working for your good. Right? Come on, write it down. All things are working for my good. Because somebody is about to get a breakthrough. Somebody is about to go into a dancing. Because you will understand the word of the Lord for you tonight. All things are working for your good, number one. Number two, God is promising you that because, he said, missing the word, he said, blessed are those who trust in the Lord. Now if you ask yourself, do I love the Lord? Yes, so all things are working for my good. Do I trust the Lord? If the answer here is yes, it means you are blessed. Because it's a blessed. When God call you blessed, it means it is done. And for you to have this blessing, trust the Lord. Because he said, blessed are those who trust in the Lord. So if your trust in the, is in the Lord, you are a blessed person. Somebody write it in the comments, I am blessed. I am blessed. And then he says, number two, he says, those who trust in the Lord and have met their Lord, their hope and their confidence. He said, you are blessed when you met the Lord, your hope, your confidence, and you trust in him. He says, because of this, verse eight, he said, there are life trees planted along a river bank with roots that reach deep in the water. Such trees are not bothered by heat. How many of you know we are in the time of heat? How many of you know with this coronavirus, plague, people passing, all kind of things are happening? It's a time of heat. God said, because your hope is in me, because your trust is in me, because your confidence is in me, I have already put you in the, in the realms of the spirit. You are like a tree planted by the rivers of water. He said, because of this positioning, oh God, you have a prophetic position in God. Those who trust God have their hope in him, their confidence in him. They have a prophetic positioning in God. And that place of prophetic positioning is a place where you are planted by the rivers of water. Then he says, such trees are not bothered by heat. So in this season, if you know where you are, if you know who you are, where you are positioned, and whom you've trusted, where your hope and confidence is, you should not be bothered, oh God. You should not be bothered by heat. Everybody is saying there's a casting down. You say, no, 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 no. You get it wrong. There's a lifting up because everything is working for my good. And I trust in the Lord. My confidence is in him. I am planted by the river banks. My roots are deep in the water of the Holy Ghost. I am on border. What border other people should not bother you when this is your position? Then he says, they will also not be worried by months, plural, months of drought. So no matter how dry everything is, no matter how bad anything is, God said it will not touch you. You, you. you will not worry about it. Why not? Because God takes care of his own. In the time of drought, God knows how to take care of his own. That's why he says in Isaiah, when you go through the storm, I will be with you. When you go through the fire, I will go with, uh, I will be with you. When you go through everything, I'm going to be there, right there with you. So you are not going through it alone. You are going through it with God. And once you know you are with God, you have to be relaxed. 
you should not be bothered. Then he says, there are leaves, you know, leaves and branches are things that um, the extension of you. You understand? Your leaves, trees get leaves and the leaves are attached to the branches. He says, their leaves stay green. Only a healthy tree that still has the nutrients, everything that it needs, we have leaves that stay green. It means in the time of drought, in the bad time, in the time of storm, God becomes your source of feeding. God becomes your source of nutrients. That's why he says also in the book of Isaiah, he said you will no longer need the light, the sun to give you light by day. You will not need the moon to give you light in the night because Jehovah himself, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Gibor himself has become your everlasting light. So when there is darkness, when there is drought, when there is storm, you don't need to be bothered because your trust is not in man. Your trust is not in, in your money or in the physical things. Your trust is in the divine being, the one who created heaven and earth. That's where your trust in should be. So you need not be bothered. Somebody write down, God got me. If you believe God got you, I want you to write it down. God got me. God is on your side. God is not against you. Once you've repented, you love the Lord. You are doing your best. You are a child of God. God got you. So that's the second promise of today. God says, you love me, all things work for your good. You trust in me, you remain blessed. And it takes me again to the book of Psalms. I want you to write down these promises because when the devil begins to come to life, you will have something to hit him with. Hallelujah. Let's go to Psalms chapter 1, verse 1 to 3. We are going to pray. Let's just get these promises and destroy the lives of the enemy so that we can begin to intercede. Oh, I feel God in this place. I bless the woman of God for this midnight prayer, this early morning prayer. May God bless her. Hallelujah. He says, All the joy of those who do not follow the counsel of the ungodly or stand around with sinners or join in with mockers, but they delight in the Lord. Their delight is in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees. Oh, I see some prophetic trees. I'm talking about prophetic positioning in God. He says, they are like trees planted. Somebody say, I am planted. Come on. If you are online with us tonight, don't just be there. I want you to prophesy to yourself and I want you to prophesy to your neighbor. Just say, planted. Somebody is planted tonight. Somebody is being planted. If you were not planted, you are being planted right now in the name of Jesus. We take it by power of the Holy Ghost and by force. We refuse for you to be loose from left and right. Where we call you in a place of positioning that you be planted in the right place today in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. He says, they are planted like trees along the river bank, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither. They, are, they, they prosper in all they do. Now, I want you to understand what God is saying. 
He said you will bear fruit in your season. Why? Because your delight is in the law of the Lord. I'm talking about prophetic positioning to beat the storm. So if you are watching us today, you are still gossiping. You are still doing all the old things. They tell you go left. You are still going right. When they are telling you go left, you may miss the blessing. But God is merciful. That's why his word is coming to us today. So that we can check ourselves. Fix ourselves by repentance and reposition ourselves to become partakers of the promises of God. Can I just bust our bubbles for one minute? The blessings of God, they come with conditions. And if we are not honest to the people of God and tell them the truth, that God is not just going to throw it to you, you can prophesy and decree till your tongue become blue and black. If you are not walking according to the will of God, you can turn around and spin and make electric slide. Nothing is going to change until you walk according to the principles and the precepts of God. And God wants us to prosper. That's why he says in this word, I wish above all things that you may prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. So the will of God for us is to prosper. In the book of Psalms 35, he says God takes delight in the prosperity of his servants. Are you with me? That's why even when we are walking the wrong road, God will still come with the right word to position us because his will for us is still to prosper. Even in the time of drought, is somebody there with me? God wants you to prosper. So he will bring his word in a midnight hour like this. He will come with his word in the early hour for some people because his mercies, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. His mercies are fresh each morning. So he said, they are like trees planted along the river banks, bearing fruit each season. Their leaves, you see, leaves are coming back. Their leaves are their extension. It means your children, your ministry, whatever comes out of you, whatever is attached to you by divine appointment, because every leaf is attached to a tree by God's divine positioning. So those who are rightly positioned alongside with you, not only you will prosper, not only you will benefit, not only you will remain evergreen, but those that are prophetically, divinely attached to you by God, they will prosper, they will remain green. That is your business, your ministry, your children, spiritual children, your mentees, your wife, your husband, those are attachment to you, divinely connected to you, your divine alignment. That's why even in this time, when the enemy thought he has gotten us, God is bringing some divine alignment back together. It is because in the season when the enemy is saying there's a casting down, God said, now watch me. Do what I've already done and bring it to fruition. Is somebody hearing me tonight? If you are here online, we need everybody to share this broadcast, start a watch party, do something, share it in the groups because somebody needs to get the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Your leaves will remain green. They will not. God didn't say, maybe. No, he said they will not. When God said they will not wither, it means they will not wither. It's a promise. The enemy cannot cancel it. But what you need to do, make sure you don't stand along with sinners. Don't go along with mockers. 
It means what is God saying? God is saying, my daughter, my son, I'm calling you to a place of divine separation. Separate yourself from anything or anybody who is going to make you miss the mark and miss your blessing. Oh God. Some of you need to stop that phone gossiping. You need to stop it. Some of you are still in, in Christ, but you're using all kinds of foul languages. God said, clean your mouth. Clean your tongue. Clean your belly. Stop the jealousy. Don't bring another sister down. Don't break another brother. Don't assassinate people's character. Amen? Learn to do good. Let your words be seasoned with salt. Be careful what you say. Do not wound the spirit of people. Be a child of God. Let love be found in you. When they bring those negative things to you, say, no, I'm sorry. I'm not going to be a partaker of this anymore. I might have done it in 2015. But 2020 is my year of production because what you see in Psalms chapter 1, verse 1 and 3, is God guaranteeing, guaranteeing you perpetual production. You become a machine of productivity. Whatever you touch, he said you will produce seed and fruit in your season. It means whatever you touch, Turn to a prophetic goal. My God. I just said something. Whatever you touch, turns to a perpetual prophetic goal. So you need to separate yourself from drama queens, from troublemakers. There is a prophetic clarion call going out tonight for separation. God is saying to somebody, come out from among them and be whatever shattered. Rabando, Carido, Dilima, Barisikebe, Paradika, Ruse, Rozo, Kara, Hiantura, Parazute, Balisikado, Palande, Katu, Karazu, Zikatura, Ba, Shende, Kade, Zitataya, Masiketebe, Balatole, Kuraba, Barosu, Kara, Heru, Rubeketo, Rabakande, Jati Titi, Ribekondo, Rapata, Rapape, Purusa Kataya. God is calling you. God is calling some of you. He is saying, Come out from amongst them. Woo! My God, my God. Come out from amongst them and be separated. Because I see some of you online. God is about to visit you. You are about to get pregnant in the Holy Ghost. But first, you need to separate yourself. Some of you online, you are going to begin to get divine directions on what to eat and what not to eat, on what to drink and what not to drink. God is going to begin to give you those divine directions. But you must listen to the word of God and don't be in the flesh because there is, a, there's, there is going to be a glory released upon your life. I am speaking to intercessors. I am speaking to prayer warriors. Hear the word of the Lord. Separate yourself. Some of you are saying, oh, I don't hear God the way I used to do. I don't dream the way I used to do. Well, your ears been shut down by junk. But tonight I come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and, and I release the blood of Jesus into your womb and into your eye gates and into your ear gates and into your womb gates and, and I destroy any deposit of the enemy, any deposit of the wicked one. Be destroyed. Jesus said, don't worry about it. Any plant not planted, by my Father in heaven shall be uprooted. 
I lose this world with the power of God. I lose this world with the authority of God. And I proclaim to them that any plans, um, anything in your life, um, any friendship, um, any decision, any desire, any anything in you that is not planted by God, um, God is unplugging to them. I lose the fire of the Holy Ghost over this broadcast, um, over anyone. Under the sound of my voice, those who hear the replay, I lose the fire. Some of you will start vomiting. Some of you will start feeling heat all over you. You will feel the power of God over you. Some of you are being arrested for prophetic intercession. You are being arrested for prayer. You are being arrested to travail. You are being arrested to prevail. You are being arrested to become a forerunner. But you must separate yourself. You must decide tonight, for God I live, for God I die. I am going for God, not only 100%, but I'm going for God, 360%. Are there any people online tonight who say, God, fix me. Father, fix me. We need fixing from God. We need change from God. We need to turn around from God. He abasunde rabasunde. Karabasunde. Parabakatunda rabashetete. Anything in you. Some of you have been eating in your dreams, sir. You have been eating demonic things in your dreams, sir. But I send my hand in the womb uh, with my hand of fire, um, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Um, and I begin to pull out, um, I begin to rip out um, in the name of Jesus. Um, whatever is in your spiritual womb um, or your natural womb um, that is not of God, um, we send fire down to the root. Um, let it be born by fire. 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 Cancer born by fire. Hatred born by fire. Jealousy born by fire. I lose fire. I lose fire. Let there be a fixing. I want everybody online to be honest to God tonight. Come on, begin to cry out to God. Before I go to my next point, Father, fix me. Do you know why God needs to fix us? Because no ref no reformer. I am from Africa. When my mother and parents used to farm, or the people in the village, before they put any crop in the farm, they take out the dirt. They will clear the farm, take out the old trees, the old plants, the old everything, and they burn it with fire. When they burn it with fire, now they are ready to seal the soil. Oh, come on, Jesus. Come on, Jesus. Now they are ready to till the soil. And when they till the soil, then they begin to put in seed. That's why God is asking us tonight for us to cry out, for him to begin to fix us. I am not hearing anybody in the spirit crying out to God. I am not feeling you in the spirit. This prayer needs to be genuine. You need to be serious with God. You need to have a wailing right now. You need to have a travail and begin to cry out, Father, I need you to fix me. Father, I need you to touch me. I need you to deliver me because I hear the promises. I hear the things that you have for me. But there are some things in me. Some people hurt me and I've not forgiven them. When I want to forgive, the enemy bring the memory in my mind and I go back to negativity. I go back to hatred. But tonight, oh God, tonight, oh God, I call you Abba Father. I call you Yahweh. Fix me, oh Lord. Where are the people who want to be fixed? Hallelujah. So God is saying in Psalms chapter 1, verse 1 to 3, he said, I am giving you. Okay, you need to hear this. God is saying in Psalms chapter 1, verse 1 and 3, he said, I am giving you, if you will receive this and walk with my commandments, I am giving you a perpetual garment of productivity 
How many of you online want productivity? It doesn't take all of that to produce. Just walk according to Psalms. Chapter 1. Your delight is in the word of God. You meditate on it day and night. You don't walk in sinners. You don't sit on the seat of the scornful ones. You don't walk with mockers. You separate yourself. God said you will be productive. Say, I will be productive. You will be productive. So now let me give you another scripture. Because you know we are in the time of this um, quarantine or lockdown. Christians are seeing things through the eyes of the enemy. But I come to shift your view. I am having the time of my life. My finances are growing in the quarantine. My ministry is growing. I'm writing books. I'm training people. I'm building the church. I'm even renovating my house in the natural. My life didn't stop. Because some of you forget to know that you live in a body, but you are a spirit. I'm still commanding things in Africa by my prophetic intercession. I may not be flying by plane to be in a conference to preach and pray in Africa. But am I not preaching to you now? Am I not speaking to you now? Your life does not have to change because of time. Because God owns the time and the space. And the Bible says he is all present. Are you with me? If God is all present and you carry God in you, don't you know you are all present in the spirit? Oh God. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Don't you know you are all present in the spirit? You don't need to go to America to turn America upside down in the Holy Ghost. You can be in your bedroom and command a shift in the whole America. If you understand who you are, if you understand your power, if you understand your authority, you can do business. I'm selling my books. Why in quarantine? I'm not saying this to boast, but I'm boasting in the Lord that he takes care of his own. I'm encouraging you to enlighten your eyes and to bring up great in your mind and in your perspective, how you think. What are the things God is asking you to do in this time? If you listen to God, in this time, you will get divine, divine instructions. I'm building sons and daughters like an apostle is doing now. He is, she's building intercessors, a movement online. Is she traveling? No. But in the spirit, she is shaking nations. She is moving nations. Your life does not have to change. If you know who God is, I love the Lord with all my heart. All things are working for my good. I repent and turn from my sins. My land is being healed. That's the promise of God. Amen. I love the Lord. I trust him. I put my confidence in him. I am like a tree planted by the river banks. I shall not be bothered by any drought or any heat. That's your confidence. You should stand upon the word of the Lord. That's how I live my life. Unbothered. I live my life unbothered. Because I know the word of the Lord. Look at what happened. In the time of drought. In the time of problem. Let's go to Genesis. That I come now and we begin to pray. Go with me to Genesis. Oh. Somebody needs to write down. Quarantine is working for my good. I want everybody online to write it down. Write it down. Quarantine is working for my good. I'm telling you, if you just leave this word sink in your heart, you will produce so much. 
by the time quarantine is finished, people will be shocked of all the things you've done for the Lord. Everybody online, write it down. Quarantine is working for my good. Let's go to Genesis 26, verse 12 to 14. Let me show us something else and get ready to pray. Amen. Get ready to pray. Genesis 26. Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Shalaba. Somebody online is really being blessed. I can feel it. Somebody online is saying, God, this is my day. This is my word. We came here to prosper in the presence of our Lord. And it is scriptural. Because the Bible says, those that are planted in the house of the Lord, they shall prosper. Hallelujah. Genesis 26, 14 and 12 to 14. It says, when Isaac planted his crops that year, oh, somebody will plant their crop. This year, don't throw away 2020 because of the things you are seeing. Do not throw away 2020. See what is happening in Isaac's life. Do you think you are the first one to go through a time like this? The devil is a liar. He says, when Isaac planted his crops that year, he harvested a hundred times more grain than he planted for the Lord bless him and let me ask you do you know what year it was it was a year of famine there was famine in the land in the days of Isaac but in that time in that year in the time of quarantine in the time of corona in the time of lockdown you can say, Isaac planted. The Bible said he planted. He harvested a hundred times more than he planted. For the Lord bless him. He became very rich in quarantine. I'm just adding that to give you understanding. He became a very rich man. And his wealth continued to grow. He acquired so many flocks of sheep and goats and herds and cattle and servants that the Philistines became jealous of him. My God, I feel like running. In the time of drought, can you imagine somebody planting a seed? What am I saying? But be productive in the time of quarantine. Corona, no corona, keep on planting. Drought, no drought, keep on planting. Because why? You are planted by the rivers of God's water. So Isaac understood the principles of God. He planted by faith. Okay, I just said something. God is looking for a woman of faith. God is looking for a man of faith. Who would dare to step out in such a time as this and begin to plant a seed? Plant a seed of goodness. Plant a seed of kindness. Plant a financial seed. Some of you think by holding your money tight in this time, that's how you're going to progress. If God does not help you, that's how the enemy will trick you to become broke and go broke up. But the devil is a liar. Somebody write it, that is not me. That is not me. He planted. So God is saying, if we can gain his perspective, if we can see from the eyes of God and see what is around us, God is creating space for somebody to step out in faith and begin to plant in this time. 
You want to plant a church? Don't hold back. I was watching a man of God. In this quarantine, people are judging him. But he is building the biggest arena of worship. I'm telling you, I was watching him. I said, wow. He is building, building. Why other people are there talking about him, Corona, Corona. Don't make the enemy big in your life. Corona is but a small thing to God. Whatever you focus on becomes magnified in your life. In my church, I've decided we're not even praying about Corona anymore. We did that, prophesied, interceded, warfare, fasted, night vigil. We've done that. We're done with it. As far as I am concerned, the time of coronavirus is over. As far as I'm concerned, it is over in the spirit. And I'm just looking daily to see the physical manifestation because it is done. Why? God said when we pray, he will hear us and answer us. God is not a bad God or a wicked God. Are you with me? So my focus is no longer coronavirus and lockdown. My focus is what am I doing with this time that I have? And what am I going to do when the lockdown is finished? So what am I saying? You must have a vision. A vision now and a vision for later. You must do like Isaac. There are some seeds that God will ask you to sow. Even on this broadcast, there are some seeds that God will say, release that seed. It becomes a seed that breaks the back of the enemy in your life. So he planted and he became bigger and bigger, stronger and stronger. He became wealthy. He became richer. He became so powerful in the time of drought. Jesus. He became so powerful that his enemies, some of you need to get ready now because your enemies are about to get really jealous because as you move on faith, God is going to honor your faith and God is going to bust the heavens open for you. I want you now to begin to open your mouth and pray. Let's begin to pray. Say, Father, come on, everybody online. If you are with me, I want to see you put fire all over this broadcast. Because now the word of God has come to show us the way. Change our perspective. Amen? To turn our eyes back to God. In my church, I'm not preaching Corona anymore. I am preaching wisdom. For almost seven weeks now, I am preaching the principles of wisdom. Because we need wisdom in this time. We need wisdom after, after this time. And the Bible says, when you esteem wisdom, wisdom will promote you. Jesus. When you esteem wisdom, wisdom will promote you. So I take the focus of my church from Corona and the focus to wisdom because Jesus is wisdom. Back to Jesus. I'm not going to give the enemy so much power. We break it tonight. I want everybody to begin to speak in tongues. Hando robo ko raba shekete. Hi antaraba sonde raba ba 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 ba. Ho raba turia kapaya no rebe ke sheket. Hi antoroma na siko robo ka sakata. Mante rebe ke seke. Hi e palaba papaya bono bo shekete. Ho rama na shondo robo ko shekete. Father, we bless you, O Jesus. Hi antaraba ba 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 ba. We thank you, Lord, for your word. He your Lord, 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 
Pandoro boko shekoto. He and the rabasun de rabashata. He and the robo shate. Harabakun de rebebebebebebe. We bless you, O Jehovah Jireh. We bless you, O Jehovah Adonai. We bless you, O Jehovah our God. We bless you, Jehovah our King. We bless you, Jehovah our Master. We bless you, Jehovah. We lift up your name in this place, God. We thank you for life, O God. We thank you for Apostle Messages, O God. We thank you for your hand upon her life, O God. We thank you for the intercessors on the line. We thank Thank you, Holy Ghost. We thank you, prayer warriors. We thank you that cancer is being healed right now. We thank you that the name of Jesus prevails above all names, oh Lord. We thank you, Father, that we are alive, oh God. We thank you for the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the angels, oh God. We thank you for your word, my God. For your word has spoken, oh God. You say in your word, my God, that all all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and I call according to your purpose God Father tonight according to your word let it be established in our life by God let the good the bad and the ugly God let it begin to work for the good of the body of Christ let it begin to work for our good my God work for the good of our children Work for the good of the wives. Um, work for the good of the husbands, God. Um, work for the good of our ministries, God. Um, work for the good of our businesses, God. Um, Father, let it work for our good. Um, we break up uh, in the name of Jesus. Um, the light of the enemy is destroyed. Um, we come in agreement. Um, we come in alignment um, with the word of God tonight. Um, he and Tarabashi, Herobo Kosanda, Masando Robo, Masandeha, He Obo Korobo Shem, He and Banamama Paya Papaya, He and Bane, He and Porobo Koshekete, He and Torabashi, Masukiria Kapaya, Masukiria Papaya, He Oko Baba. We soak our words in this truth, our song in this word. Um, the word of the Lord is truth. Um, the word of the Lord is all powerful. He and Terebeham, he and Paleboka Shatam, Masukele Roboham, Hoba Baba Baba, he and Pele Robobo. We cover the body of Christ um, with the blood of Jesus. Um, we decree and we declare um, no weapon, uh, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Any tongue um, that has risen against us in judgment, uh, Father, tonight. Um, in the name of Jesus, uh, we cancel it. Uh, we condemn it, God. Uh, we come in your throne. Uh, we say, glorious Father, uh, have mercy on us, Lord. Uh, have mercy on your church. Uh, have mercy on your children. Uh, forgive our sins, God. Uh, cleanse us, oh God. Uh, deliver us, oh God, uh, from evil, Father. Uh, wash our eyes. Uh, wash our minds. Uh, cleanse our souls. Uh, put the right spirit up. Uh, in us, O oh God, and restore unto us and the joy here in the world. The joy of the salvation, um, Holy Father, tonight, um, do a deeper work, um, do a deeper work, um, oh God, um, pluck out of us um, anything, oh God, um, that is not of you, God, um, pluck it out, oh God, um, remove it, oh God, um, take it away, God, um, take away offense. Um, Take away every pain. Somebody needs to pray. We cry out for mercy. We cry out for mercy. Let mercy locate America. Let mercy locate Africa. Let mercy locate Asia. Hey! We need Jesus. We need mercy, God. We need you, Lord. Masoko Robo Pala. Mantele Baba. Cleanse us, oh God. Deliver us from evil, God. Realign us, oh God. Back to you, oh God. All eyes on Jesus. All eyes on Jesus. 
Let Jesus prevail. Let Jesus prevail. Be the Lord of our life. Be our shepherd. Be our anchor God. Father God, by your breath, through mercy, through Jesus Christ, blow away the virus. Blow away the plague. This war is power. This war is grip. Hold back, oh God. The angel of death. Hold him back, oh God. Give us life, oh God. For your word says, I will live and not die and declare the works of God. Somebody online pray. Say, I will live and not die and declare the works of God. My children will live and not die and declare the works of God. The husbands will not die. They will live and declare the works of God. The wives will not die. Father, we pray for life. Give your angels a charge. Let the plans of the wicked ones let it be abolished. Let the plans of the wicked ones let it be abolished, O oh God. Let the plans of the wicked ones let it be destroyed, O oh God. Mantulia Bapaya, Mantulia Bapaya, Oroboko Shete, we need you, O God. Let the plans of the wicked ones, let it be destroyed. We call for a turnaround. We cry out, O God. We cry out for mercy. He and Parababoshe, Masuka Babo, Ubaba Yetelebe, He and Telebo. Let the intercessors arise. Let us stand upon the wall. Let them receive back their fire. Let them receive by their power. Give us revelation, O God. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Let the will of the Father, let it be done on earth as it is in heaven. He and Parabashem, Masukayoa, Urobonda, he take a papa, he got papa, Palabatulia, 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 rest of all God, God the altars, destroy all God, demonic altars, let them be broken down, you go upon the pyre, Palapia, the pyre. Oko Toraba, Masike Ropa, Kenta Lakataya, Palate Kendo Rododo, Nia Palele, Father Demonic Altars, let them be broken, rest of Altars, rest of your Altars, rest of your Altars, all God, Altars of Prayer, Altars of Holiness, Father Shalabashi, Ho. He a palebo shakakaba. He a palebo babo shakeke. He a palebo shalababa. He a telebabo. He a telebabababa. He a telebaba shata. Paladade shekete. Father, do what only you can do. I feel a morning glory in this place. Oh, Ramamabo shalelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
Father, this shout is calling the intercessors. Let them awake. We send an alarm. We send an alarm in the spirit. He on tola ba 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 ba. He on tola ba 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 ba. Hey, ba 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 ba. Hey, oh, oh, ba 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 ba. He on tola ba 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 ba. Oh, yeah, ba sunde. Come, Jesus, la la ba sha. Hola ba 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 ba. We send an alarm in the realms of the spirit. We send an alarm, a clarion call. We call for them. We call for them. An awakening of the intercessors. An awakening of the prayer warriors. We call them for them. He on tell about shame. He on tell about I lose the sound. Let the sound go. In the realms of the spirit, in America, in Asia, in Africa, wherever they are, in Europe, we lose a sound. We call the watchmen, we call the watchwomen. I want everybody to pray. Let the heavens open. Let the heavens open. Let the heavens open and release a sound. Let the watchman arise. Father, we cry out wherever they are. Let them be awakened. Hey! Hey! Shadow, bo, 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 bo. He and Tola, ba, 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 he and my ever shall of this has so as you are, you will never change. Hey, of this. A soul as you are, a soul as you are, you will never change. A shadow of this, a soul as you are, Jesus, a soul as you are. You will never change. Hell shall not days. How so as you are. How so as you are. I see fire all over this altar. Boy, I don't seek a man. Woo, Jesus. Come on, come on, come on, press in. The glory is here. Come on, press in. Come on. Come on, come on, people. Let's not give up now. Let's not give up now. Let's press in. Shed all of us. That's the song I hear in the spirit. As you are. As you are. You will never change. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, yes, yes, of this, as oh, as you are, yes, oh, my God, my God, my God, my God, my God, yes, yes, of this, God is calling you back to the throne room, come on, intercessors, press in. Press in, press in, press in, press in. 
intercessors press in. Patient of this. Hasso, Hasso. Come on, press in. Press in. Press in. Press in. Press in. Press in. Woo! The word came to bring us to this place. Patient of this. Hasso, Hasso. Jesus. Have your way, Father. Touch your people, Father. Bring healing, Father. Woo! Bring healing, Father. Come on, I want all of you to open your mouth. Wherever you are, begin to pray. Begin to intercede. Begin to soak yourself into this. Because God is calling you to the throne room of glory. To the place of intimacy. Spiritual positioning planted by the rivers of living water. Planted by the rivers of living water. Some of you are feeling so dry, but God came to water you tonight. Planted by the rivers of living water. Oh, there is a birthing taking place. A burden of nations. Oh, Father, touch our hearts. If you are here today, and you have been backsliding from God. Mm. Mm. You have been backsliding. Mm. God is going to make you now mm. to come back to God. Mm. I want you to take five more minutes mm. as I turn it over to the woman of God. And she will mm. give us the next direction. Mm. Anybody online, you've not been consistent mm. in your relationship with God. Mm. You've not been consistent. Mm. It's two minutes now. God is calling the prodigal daughters. Mm. It me you were not going to church. Mm. Maybe you were going to church, but you held back your tithe and your offering. You are going to church, but you held back your worship and your prayer. You held back your service. You don't want to be an usher anymore. You don't want to do the things that God assigned you. Today is a day of repositioning. Is a day of restoration. God is calling you back. I know it hurts. Sometimes you can get hurt even in the house of God. It's the truth. But right now, God is healing you. Come on, there's somebody online. God is healing you. God is saying, my daughter, my son, do it again. Do it again. Come back. Reconnect and reposition yourself. Because remember, all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. And Jehovah Shaman, the one who is always with us, is here to embrace us. Let me turn it to the woman of God for us for a minute. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, people of God. I'm telling you, I just purposely, I don't know about you guys, I knew this is a divine moment. I, 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 I'm telling you, uh, for, for those for those of you that have been following, you know the Lord has been talking about location, location, location. Woman of God came online tonight. She's talking about position, position, position. Hallelujah. Because God is about, it, it is about how are you positioned. Hallelujah. And all things. Did you hear that? All things work together. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I don't know about you. Man, I don't know about you. After this broadcast, just replay it. Replay it. Woman of God, I'm telling you, there have been a divine transformation tonight in the realms of the spirit in our life. I'm telling you, in this season, I'm telling you, we are, the Lord has been causing us to declare it in this season. I cannot afford to fail. I cannot afford to miss it. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And the word of the Lord came to racket off to different dimension of glory and thinking tonight in the name of Jesus. About repositioning, understanding that even in the season, in the time of famine, Hallelujah, you do not have to stay in the place of drought. Isn't it wonderful how the Holy Spirit is doing amazing things? We didn't have a conversation. We didn't say this is what the woman of God is going to preach. We know because by the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, in this season, the Spirit of the Lord is raising his mouthpiece um, as a woman of God and myself to, to strengthen the body of Christ, uh, to bring the sons and daughters that have been disaligned and to come again into divine alignment to original purpose of the Lord. Did you hear that? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. This is so amazing. This is not time whereby we continue to exalt Corona. Did you hear what the, did you hear what Apostle said? Is somebody online and said, I stopped praying about Corona demon long time ago because that is been there to do the hear that. Man, Talaba, shake it. Did you hear that? Did you make notes? I've been making my notes. Holaba, so Libra, Sakata, Libra. I don't know about you. I'm telling you, there, there, there have been a shift, divine shift. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Rabba, so Labra, Sekete. Robo Sekete, Apostle. Just bless us, bless us. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank for this divine moment. Thank for this time that we are soaking ourselves into you, Father. Thank for this time that you are meeting us in the place of our need. Our eyes are going to be focused onto you, oh God. We are going to just continue to worship and thank God for this night. It's been a glorious time. I want to release a sound here. As the sound is praying, is playing, I just want us to begin to soak ourselves in God, in worship, and just begin to tell him, thank you for everything that he has released. I want you to begin to thank God. Amen. Shala, ba, 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 ba. Come on. Come on, everybody begin to worship God. Come on. Soak yourself in God. Shala, ba, 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 ba. Come on. Press in. There is such a glory in this place. There is such an anointing in this place. I keep hearing God asking us to say, Father, fix me. Father, fix me. Come on. Press in. Come on. Press in. Father, fix me. Come on. Father, fix me. Come on. Press in. Father, fix me. Come on. Shala ba 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 ba. Shala ba 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 ba. Come on, come on, come on! In this place of worship, in this place of intercession, cry out to God. Father, fix me. Father, fix me. Take away the pain. Take away the anguish. Take away the bitterness. Take away all forgiveness. Some of you are being released. But you need to give it to God. Come on, soak yourself. Father, fix me. I don't want to be the same. I want to change. Make me a better man. Make me a better woman. Fix me, Lord. And let my eyes be on Jesus. Come on, press. Come on, press. Shada Rabadobo ko shekete. Shada Rabadobo ko shekete. I have been spending this time repenting of my own sins. All of us have places of weakness. Cry out to God. Be genuine. Be transparent in the presence of God. Jesus, he is glorious. He is glorious. Jesus, Father, fix me. One of God, can I just say something, please? I would like to say something to help our audience. One of the things that God's been doing in my life, let me testify to help all of us. 
Because I'm telling you, this quarantine is working for our good mm -hmm. if we look through the eyes of God. One of the things during this whole quarantine time, God's been dealing with me, myself, Claire, not my brother, my sister. Because we like to pray for people. But mm -hmm. sometimes we must pray for our own self. We like to look at the dirt in other people's life. But sometimes we must turn the mirror mm. to our own self and to see the true us. Mm -hmm. So what God's been doing in my life is showing me the true clear revealed. And I'm telling you, I was messy. I've allowed the things of, of my life, the pain, the rejections, the disappointments, the things that people throw at me or did to me or didn't do to me to mess up something that was beautiful, call my heart. But I did not deal with them because I was busy running ministry, mm. building business, serving other people. Mm. And I forgot number one, me. Mm. I pray for everybody. I forgot to pray for myself. Mm. And my Apostle Paul said that he will not save everybody I'm paraphrasing. And that he himself loses his soul. So we need to reflect. So I've been reflecting. And I noticed I had offense in my heart in some capacity towards some people because I felt used. I felt misused. Mm. I felt abused. I felt broken. I felt rejected. I felt misunderstood. And because of what I was feeling, I isolated myself. I separated myself from everybody that God actually brought in my life for his divine purpose. I was trying to be my own God. Using me to protect me. Mm. Use me to cover me. Mm. I forget the real coverer. Mm. His name is Jesus Christ. Jesus. And then I began to blame God. I said, nobody loves me. Mm. Nobody likes me. Nobody accepts me. Mm. Nobody understands me. And God didn't answer that time. But in this time of quarantine, God said, my daughter, let's talk. And the talk I had with God, it wasn't only about mm. my offense with people. I took offense on God. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I'm going to go there. Because I'm trying to help someone. Because there were some things I asked God for. And they have not come to pass yet. And I listened to the little whispers. Of the devil unknowingly mm. and i was saying i'm a father mm. really god like john the baptist mm. or should i look for for another mm. should i look for another because i've prayed father i've worshiped father i pay my time Jesus. i give offerings every conference i saw a seed i have the poor I have the widow. I preach until I have no more voice. I pray until I have no more voice. I am not perfect, Father. But Jesus died for me. So I expect grace. So why is that thing not coming to my life? Mm. Because of those things I had in my heart. I never voiced it out. I was carrying something. But I couldn't feel the weight. Because I was addicted to running. I run in ministry. Always preaching. Always prophesying. Always praying. Why there were things in me. Mm. And many of us online are still carrying those things. Right. So I had to talk to God in this quarantine. And God began to reveal. And God began to deal with me. And I wept. Wept for days like somebody died. When I began to see my own ugliness, I said, so 
it's, it's not there. It's me, Lord. Fix me, Lord. Mm. Help me, Lord. Change me, Father. Deliver me. Heal my heart. Take away the wounds, the shame, the disappointment. I forgive the abuse. I forgive. Mm. Understand. But you need to fix me. And he mm. said, yeah, I'll fix you. I said, mm. okay. I thought he was going to pour anointing oil on me. And it was good. He said, the way I'm going to fix you, mm. I'm going to let you call everybody mm. to think doesn't like you. And you're going to repent and say, I'm sorry. I said, but why should I be the one? Why is it always me? <laughs> first step. He said, why not you? Mm. Why should it be you? Mm. Did I appoint you? Mm. Did I tell you that you are my battle axe? Did I tell you that you are my weapon of war? Did I tell you that I will come against you but I will defend you. Mm. Why do you take my place? Mm. Jesus. I will not defend that. Mm. So you go repent. Because mm. you know God said to Jeremiah in Jeremiah 15, he said, mm. if you turn from your ways, Jeremiah, if you stop speaking stupid words and speak wisdom and righteous words, Jeremiah, I will restore you. Mm. I will restore you, Jeremiah. Mm. And I will fix you. Mm. I will put my fire back in you. Mm. I will use you again. Hallelujah. Mm. I will you. Anybody who comes against you, mm. I will destroy them. Mm. He said, so now you go back, Jeremiah. You go and do what I command you to do. My you God. You begin to respect. You take the blame. You mm. take it. Mm. Because you want to see how desperate you are for me to heal you. Mm. How desperate you are for me to use you. How humble you are. How willing you are. Wow. So people of God, I began to obey God. And you will not believe it. I feel 1,000 kilos lighter. Mm. I've never been more free. I've never been more free. And some of you are looking for deliverance. My God. Looking Ooh. for change. You are looking for promotion. Mm. This same thing that God did with me, he wants to do with you. My God. He wants to take the responsibility. Mm. Fixing that relationship. Mm. There are relationships that you yourself burn down Jesus. because of your pain, your insecurities, mm. pride. Because some of the things that I mess up, it was pride. Uh huh. Claire Review was prideful. I thought I'm arrived. I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. I have Jesus. But you slash, Jesus worked with people. Mm. Jesus died for people. Mm. Jesus function with people. Jesus. So we all need people. Mm. We want us to love mm. one another. It doesn't mean we're going to drink coffee and tea with everybody. Amen. Mm. Mm. It doesn't mean that. We just have to make it right in the spirit. Right. My God, Daddy. Make mm. it right in the spirit. Ooh. Make it right with God. Mm. Clear the way. Mm. Take the power from the hand of Satan. Yes. Because whatever you bring to the light, Satan can use it against you. No. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh. Because he works more in darkness. Satan only flourish in darkness. So when mm. you reach the light, Satan can't touch it. He can't use it against it, against you. 
So tonight on this altar of fire, I don't feel so much fire in this place. Yes. I want you to allow God to speak to your heart, My God. to talk to your mind, mm. and be willing to obey mm. simple instructions. Mm. Some of you have fasted long enough. You've prayed long enough. Now is the season. Mm. Be obedient. Yeah, this what is going to bring the result. Yeah. Not another prayer and fasting. Mm. You will just be wasting your time if you are not being obedient to the instructions that mm. come. So right now where you are, I want you to put your hand on your heart. Mm. I can't do it. To speak to you, begin to whisper the name of the person that pain, that unforgiveness. Mm. What it is, oh. God, I'm willing, yes, Lord. My the God. word of God for all of us, yes, mm. everything is spoken. Mm. He wants to cry out, Father, fix me, mm. yes, Lord. Yes. So that's oh. what quarantine. Mm has done for my life. That's why I say I'm living the best time of my life. Mm. I'm saying all of these things to mm. transform your way of viewing this time. Mm. Greater wow. things happen in this time. I'm yes. getting my class in this time. Mm. I'm in freedom. Everything is working for my good. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Because God changed my perspective. He changed the way I see. He said, look around you. I was driving yesterday, apostle from church. Mm. He said, Claire, smell the air. Wow. And he said, even the air, I'm cleaning it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because there's traffic, yeah. there's things going. He said, I'm even cleaning mm. the nature. I'm putting mm. things in position. My God. Mm. Why am I saying this, people of God? Mm. We have a reason to worship him. Yes. We have so many reasons to praise him in this time. Yes. Let yourself be in a in a morning position and letting mm. people complain. No. Mm. Let us exalt him. Yes. Glorify him. He is a big God. He mm. is the God of Israel. He mm. never fails. He knows what he's doing. Yes. In the of all of this, he is still Jehovah. He is yes, still I am. He knows what he's doing. Trust him. Yes. Ooh. Trust. Mm. Give me back to the one of God. I just felt to share that. Hallelujah. That is, I'm telling you, that is so powerful. That is well needed. I'm telling you, it is, uh, it is extreme. Thank you so much, woman of God, because, you know, I, I, I just feel like you know, this is just like you're just you just started. <laughs> it's like we, it's like to now we've just had a little bit of warm up because you know, in this season, we are you know, we are committed. The apostle said, For this cause, I buy my knees, for this cause, hallelujah, for this cause, we are preaching the gospel, for this cause, we came out to, tonight, hallelujah. We seen what I was sharing with them. What people do not understand that we are having the global prayer chain right now. And, and, and I see uh, uh, Dr. Sangari is online and powerful, powerful great man of God. The Lord is using him to stay ahead in you know, most of the coordination and everything. Hallelujah. I'm telling you. But what people do, did know is that uh, uh, almost 2012 already. Do you see divine pattern? 2012 already. Hallelujah. 2012, uh, Apostle Claire actually have designed the template. You didn't hear that. The template, because look at this season. This is, this, listen, we cannot do the things of the Lord anyhow. You know, it is not possible. God, you know, when, when the Lord first initially gave us this vision, because the atmosphere wasn't right, 
The Lord had to put a hold on that. The Lord understood it that we didn't catch the vision. Now it is. It has been a moment. You know, we talk about the. We talk about the glory. We talk about the assignment, and we talk about the glory. We don't talk about the process. Apostle Apostle Claire just talked about the process. Hallelujah! And anyway, we want the Lord. Hallelujah! To bring to, to, to in this season. In this season, we have to learn to surrender unto the Lord for Him to knock things out of us. Hallelujah! That we may not be cast away. You didn't get that. You didn't hear that. This, 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 this. this I, I was telling a daughter yesterday. I said, "Do not forget." I said, "You must understand the moment that we are in." I said, "I said Moses." I said, "I said when Moses was alive, he did what he was supposed to do." I said, "When Joshua came, he did what he was supposed to do." We saw a Queen Esther came. He came as much a time as this and we saw that i said listen judges i was talking to some of our daughters yesterday i said do not forget that god has unpicked us and have he have assigned us to be in the eighth round yes such a time as this, we must come and contend for the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. We are coming online. We could have been sleeping right now. It is 3 a.m. Now almost 5 a.m. From the Netherlands, we are streaming. We, we uh, the, the, Because the father, listen, I also did not have to give that testimony. She, that testimony is to set somebody free. It is quite interesting because they see how the Lord, we say God is not the author of confusion. The Lord has been talking, I've been have been dealing with us i've been talking to us about bitterness and offense hallelujah how offense listen be, uh, listen somebody somebody help me here listen we saw that in the life we saw that in the life of john the baptist woman of god we saw that this is a great man of god his death was prophesied his assignment was prophesied you have no idea how this testimony gave you just they came to deliver us tonight the birth of john the baptist not only in the spirit in the, the the spiritual mantle of that man of god but he was also the cousin of our lord jesus christ in the physical this was the person that baptized our lord jesus christ and he knew that he saw he experienced the open heaven he saw the messiah he is the one that said it i baptize you uh, unto repentance but the one that is coming we baptize you with holy ghost and fire he was the one that made that statement and all of a sudden he came into this place of predicament and then he was in prison guess what happened and then he said are you sure look at that offense has kicked in offense kicked in mm. Offense oh, kicked him because he has been busy, he has been plowing. This is somebody who ate wild honey and locusts for dinner. I'm telling you, this this was this was a his life. Listen, offense is wicked, bitterness is wicked. When our heart is no longer right, become wicked. I'm talking to all of us, to all of us, hallelujah. To all of us, we see that as in, in the life of this great John the Baptist, his death that is uh, his death was not prophesied because it was not written about him that his head was going to be chopped off. Listen, and then he's in prison, woman of God. Now he's in prison, and he sent his apostles, he sent his disciples to to, to, to his cousin, to his brother, to the uh, to the Messiah, and then he's like, "Are you the one that is supposed to be here?" Because That's you don't behave like the one that is sent. Because mm -hmm. all these things I've done, I profess everything you say, you know, I'm still here in the prison. Are you sure? And then the reply of our Lord Jesus Christ gave the, the gave the secret of that question in way that you know because he, he was offended at, at our Lord Jesus Christ. And God cannot do anything with us when we are walking or in offense in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God cannot do anything with us when we are operating in the spirit of offense. It's not possible, he cannot help us. The, the what the woman of God listen. Mm said today if we will come to that place and allow the lord to purge our heart listen this. let me let me tell you give you this full picture jesus when when john the baptist was in the prison our friends had a way of clouding our judgment come on. we no longer see what we are supposed to see mm. we no longer we no longer work in power mm. do you hear that because then he, he, he was questioning the Lord instead of saying, "Listen, I need prayer." Instead of instead of doing what Queen Esther did, 
Kutesah yes. said, said, let everybody pray and fast. Yes. Because there is fire on the mountain. Yes. Did yes. you hear that? Let everybody fast and pray. I will do the same accordingly. And I'm telling you, John the Baptist was in the position, was in the place, but because the offense clouded his judgment, he could not realize his position of power to say to the Messiah, fast and pray because there is fire in the mountain. Come on. Give God good reason why he must get me out of this place. Yes. He, he had good reason. He okay. had many good reasons to be out of that place, but of fact, Jesus couldn't help him. Come on. But Jesus preached about his greatness, but he couldn't help him. Because of that, because of that offense, he opened doors, he empowered the enemy for his head to be cut off. Somebody was say, not my head tonight in Jesus' name. You didn't hear me. Man talabra soko tolabra. That testimony, if you did not hear anything the woman of God said tonight. Look at the power of humility. Hallelujah. He said, he, he, it's not, listen, it's not about you. It's not, I'm not pointing finger. I don't even want to even look at the vicious things you did about. It's not about you. I'm just going to, I'm going to come in the, I'm just going to humble myself because of my relationship with the Lord, because of the mantle, because of my assignment, because of the cause. Apostle said, for this cause, we bow our knees. For what, what, for what cause are you bowing your knees tonight? What, 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 that, that was, that was a prayer assignment obedience of humility and positioning because that 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 that, that assignment that whole humility that yeah. that when the lord gave her that assignment and she just repositioned herself come on so say father i i know you i am your battle ass yes have you ever seen a farmer before have you ever seen when where where at the battle ass drag with a farmer with the no, we Come become pliable in the hand of our maker. We are committed to make it to create to, to, to bring up generation of prayer warriors, generation of radicals, the you generation that is not scared to say, you know what the Bible said, be ye holy for I'm, I am holy, and I'm not I'm not scared to be sold out for the Lord. I refuse to compromise. I say, Father, purge me, take away every seed of bitterness. And that is the prayer I was praying for a long time, woman of God. I will we be praying this prayer. I say, Father, Lord, take away every abominable thing out of my life everything that doesn't represent you father go into my spirit and pull it out in the name of jesus christ everything that doesn't represent you lord I pull it out of my life take it out of my life out of my marriage out of my atmosphere in the end when you start praying such prayers the lord will start doing something in your heart this lord will start creating this i'm telling you he said our heart can be so deceitful he knows how to deceive us our heart will tell us we are all that when we are nothing our heart will tell us we are living a holy righteous life and so that to the lord hallelujah i'm telling you that is why we say father reveal my heart to me yes yes lord show me how you see me Help me so these are uh, for those that have been having prayer bulletin hallelujah those are the prayers we've been taking the intercessions to go through yes lord and and, and 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 then woman of god said you've been in my spirit for a while so i knew immediately because she was connected to the global prayer chain and network like never before actually the foundation the lord used her to lay the foundation 2012 already yes because in order for us to be able to 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 put all the all, all the logistics together to plan those things together to, to to register the times and different zones and different season which was not possible if we did not have that spreadsheet in place yes. she, the lord used that to do in 2012. yes wow did you, did you hear that that yes. is what i knew this night it was not even a struggle 
Praise the Lord because because the Lord has unpicked as the Lord has unpicked all the uh, prophetic intercessors, the prayer warriors, the sanctified brethren that have that have been labored as we speak. There are prayer chain going on as we speak. We have three active groups on on, on WhatsApp. They are just covering and declaring uh, uh, Habakkuk two uh, uh, two fourteen that the the, the earth and uh, the body of Christ will be filled with the with the knowledge and the glory of the Lord. And tonight the Lord used you to bring knowledge on this. Understanding, hallelujah, understanding to the body of Christ. Thank you, Jesus. The word that came for tonight, I'm telling you, it is it, it is it is so so needed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And we give God the praise because this is the time, this is the season. A lot of us have tarried long enough. We have seen that we've been. I said, Lord, can I just give can you give me another message, another scripture for a while? He said, No, you keep at that. He said, Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. God. The Lord is be saying, He said, Listen, many of my people they have tarried long enough in the valley of hopelessness, in the valley of defeat, in the valley of shame, in the valley of mockery, in the valley of, of, of defeat. Hallelujah. He said, I am I am causing your grave to open. I will break you, with, I will take you out of the grave. Did you hear me in the book of Ezekiel 37? I will break you out, I will take you out. Did you hear that? Take you out from that. Great, I will bring you out. I will cause it to open. I will put my spirit on you. I will cause you to lead and I will bring you into your place, into your land. Yes, I receive. Hallelujah. Do you see that? And that is what the Lord has been doing with many of us because many of us were just broken, broken, defeated soldiers in the field. Hallelujah. And we walk with authority as a result of so of, 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 of so many, many uh, uh, um, uh, uh, things that was going on in our spirit. We then lacked power. We saw that. Even the Bible recognized that. That in the, in the book of Ezekiel, it talks about but they were exceedingly great armies. They were exceedingly great armies, exceedingly great armies in the grave. Hallelujah. That means they were people of authority, but there was no power. They didn't have enough power to break out of that tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord that came forth tonight. Hallelujah. My God, my God, are breaking you loose tonight in the name of Jesus. Did you hear that? Everything the woman of God was saying tonight. Hallelujah. Write it down. You can't be the same. Our life can never be the same. Again. The Lord sent her tonight to come and break you loose in the name of Jesus. He talked about position, repositioning. Hallelujah. All things are working together. But say, nevertheless, don't be deceived because our heart knows how to deceive us. Nevertheless, make sure you are in the right standing with the Lord. She said, Nevertheless, make sure there is no bitterness and offense in your spirit. Did you hear that? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That is what I call balanced message. He said, Even in the midst of this storm, world, I am prospering. And this is your portion tonight, too, in the name of Jesus. He said, Nevertheless, I'm writing and my church is flourishing. I'm, I, I'm again. I, this, this is what he didn't come to brag. She just telling you, you too you too are next in line hallelujah you are next in line thank you jesus for this cause we have been here all night you didn't hear me i didn't want to miss my moment thank you jesus i didn't want to miss my moment moment as in the backstage i was just i'm telling you thank you jesus i was just tapping into the glory realm thank you jesus do you know what that means Hallelujah, and it is amazing. Some things I have never had to, I have never asked somebody before. I said, Lord, how come we are really not seeing Jesus? But he said, Those that are pure in heart, and you think you are pure in heart, we are not seeing Jesus. Did you hear? Did you hear what the woman of God, what the apostle was preaching tonight? Thank you, Jesus. How come you are not seeing Jesus face to face? How come we are not seeing him? That is why we need to take that check you know check with him i'm just recapping what 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 the woman of god have been preaching just to let you know you must come to the place you must eat the word you must you must do the word you must start me hallelujah that is why i love this prophetic nation you know before you say hello you before you say let me share they already are pulling out 
because they are hungry people i'm telling you and we must come to that place that i refuse to be left behind in this is i am next in line for my manifested miracle look at what the woman of god is saying and, and we have been there hallelujah hallelujah because in this season in this season what god said go have to go listen because of time constraint hallelujah thank you jesus i thank you for liking this page if you are on this page please like this page hallelujah please like this page i just recap just few things the one of god have already preached i just want to say blessed be the name of our lord jesus christ please like our facebook so that when we are online hallelujah when we are online then the notification goes up then you will know we are going online hallelujah thank you for also subscribing to our youtube channel now, you know uh, and subscribe so that when we are online you will know we are online thank you jesus and you can share this you know i'm so excited right now i'm just too excited because this is the message that will take you to the next level hallelujah when our heart is right yes Lord. when we no longer you know some people want do this is the one of the revelation one of god the, the holy spirit gave to me and this has been in my in my in my book, The Prayer of a Bitter Wife. And we've been teaching on that on the marriage broadcast so lately. So people say, Lord, you are not vindicating me for everything that they did to me. Oh. Lord said, I cannot get, I cannot reach your enemies because they are in prison. Oh. If you can release them from your heart, I will take care of it. But you have kept them captive. You release them and I will deal with them. But I'm looking for I'm looking for them to deal with. I can't find them because you have imprisoned them in your heart. Let them go and let me catch them. Let me deal with them. Let them go. My let God. them go. My God. Did my you God. get that? Immediately you release those. Immediately you release them. Yes. You see how God will continue to contend with those that are contending with you. Oh my God, you know, I'm so excited about the goodness of God right now. I, I can keep you here for another 10 hours <laughs> because, because this is just God's been awesome. People of God, hold on to the word. If you came late, we encourage you, watch the replay. Watch the replay. If you miss some parts, Go back and watch and take notes. It's going to bless you. It's going to empower you. I am so excited. If you have been blessed, just hashtag bless. Where are our blessed people? If you have been blessed, we want you to say bless by hashtag. Write it in the comment. Please, everybody who came late, Watch the replay. Amen. God really spoke tonight. God give prophetic word, word of comfort, word of impartation, word of hope, word of repositioning. So you don't want to miss it. Even if you went in and out, just go back and recap where you missed it. Amen. We love you so much. We thank God for your life. I saw Apostle. Um, putting her PayPal or information for C. If you have been blessed by this broadcast, I ask you to send a C to the PayPal or the information of the woman of God. Amen. So I see some people say they are blessed. Blessed, blessed, blessed. Wow. Yes, God is so faithful. Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, bless me. I see it coming up. I see it coming up. Blessed people of God. So as you can see, you see I'm having some technical difficulties, but I'm so confident because Apostle is online, so I'm, I, it's all good. Amen. Hallelujah. Woman of God, I just want to say thank you. And I'm so grateful. Thank you so much because people people have no idea we've gone a long way. I'm telling you, and and and, and she will be sharing more about that soon. I mean, they are gonna put a flyer, please, information about because we're good. We are having a wonderful program. 
online program uh, uh, at uh, uh, Apostle Clary Day's uh, ministry. So the prayer is going to be on this on this page that you're watching from, so that you log in. Hallelujah! And then maybe you can, you know, just a little bit of glimpse of from even you know from our, some humble beginning. Hallelujah! And the Lord is going to uh, uh, bless us. I'm going to put that information all that, and I hope well, we hope to see you again. <laughs> We have to see again, woman of God, because she is busy. She is very, very, very busy, and I'm so grateful. And what? Because the reason I, I and this is something I've not shared with her. The reason why I'm so passionate about the testimony to share about process, because we want you to be to be solid in Christ and not think that all these are magic and things just happen like that. They are being processed. Amen. And sometimes fathers and mothers don't share the, the journey of their process enough for people to be patient. So, and I'm grateful to God, woman of God, I we love you, I appreciate you. And uh, <laughs> our prophetic nation, you know, I'm just going to it's just send your love uh, to our apostle. Hallelujah. And we will be here 3 a.m. tomorrow again by the grace of God. I'm not quite sure. I, I think maybe we're having our midday uh, uh, prayer cast today. I'm not quite sure. Father, we just thank you for those that are under the fan of our voice right now. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, Lord, that you are meeting each and everyone at the point of your need. Father, I thank you for answering our prayers. Father, I thank you because you always hear us. Because you are good, you are kind, you are faithful, you are just. Father, I thank you. We bless you. We thank you for the manifested testimonies that will come as a result of our being here in your presence today again in jesus name we thank you for fresh fire we thank you for power we thank you for grace father we thank you also lord i thank you for your daughter lord apostle claire i thank you for the unction that you have given her to function in the name of jesus father i thank you and i bless you in jesus name we pray with thanksgiving people of god hallelujah do not be i'm telling you go and celebrate i congratulate each and every one of you in the name of of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. So, um, what are for the next broadcast today? Amen. Why did it, uh, <laughs> I'm seeing some questions coming in? Uh, in case, uh, in case you didn't, in case you sent in prayer request, we'll go through it. Okay, when you send us prayer requests, we are committed, we are praying for you. When we say we are praying for you, we are truly praying for you. Okay, you may not be on the broadcast immediately, okay, but we are praying for you. Okay, if the Lord, the Lord will reach out to you, God bless you. We love you, Shalom, woman of God. Thank you. Do you have a word to share with our people before we go offline? <laughs> I, just, I just want to tell that I just be so welcome, of course, Apostle. I just felt such an unction. What I felt in this place is God really said to me, This is an altar of fire. So keep on praying, keep on fasting, keep on pushing, and the best is yet to come. We love you, we Amen. love you, and we say shalom for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you've been blessed by today's message. Follow Apostle Mercedes Monden at Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook.